Oh, boy. Sam? Oh, Dora. I figured I'd better feed him now because it'll be late by the time we get home. That's fine. I got some cloth for Becky. Now maybe we can find that knife that Davy wanted. Good. If you ever forgot that old Barlow, he'd skin us alive. <laughs> Sheriff! 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 Uh, what's that? Shot up bad. Now, now, they killed his missus in two hands. I was down by the creek when I heard the shots. All right, boy, all right. Slow down now and let me get the straight of this. Well, Mr. Stiles can't talk too good, but he did say something about troopers. Better let him get Stiles over to see Doc Hanley, don't you think, Sheriff? He's right, son. You get along. We'll talk later. Has to be them army deserters from Fort Winnick. I heard they robbed a bank up north and killed a woman doing it. Ain't that pretty quick figuring, Tom? No, I don't think so, Sam. They were supposed to be heading south. Well, I better get out to Stiles' place and see what I can pick up. Oh, uh, Sam. Yeah? Stiles' place is pretty close to yours. You better be on the lookout. I'll do that, Tom. Sam? Never mind, Dora. Everything is going to be all right. Let's just get out of home. Oh, boys. Oh, Ronnie. You all right, Dora? Fine. Let's go just home. fine. I'll say. Come on, boys. Davey, where are you going? I'm going to go feed the horses. Get in the house, Becky. But David... Come on, get in the house. Sam, will there be any trouble? Oh, no, no. I'm just fidgety, is all. Oh, boy. Oh. Hold that, Dora. Now, you just sit tight and I'll be right back. Hey, 
Davy. Davy, my boy. Troopers. Becky. I waited for you, Pa. Oh, Dave. Pa? Pa? Davy? Davy. He's gone, Dora. Oh, my He's God. Gone. No. I can't find Becky. <laughs> Gotta get to town, Dora. Gotta get a posse. Uh, thank you, Hank. Sam. What did you stop here for? Why, well, I just sent for Charlie Gordon in Abilene. There ain't no need for U.S. Marshal, Sam. I'm the law here. There ain't no one denying that, Tom, but... I sent for a tracker, not just a lawman, and Charlie Gordon's the best, you know that. All right, Sam, we'll get your daughter back and them army deserters where they belong by the time he gets here. Why, well, thank you. Completely lost him. I want to thank all of you. Now I want you men to get some rest and then we'll get some fresh horses and pack in for a long haul. See you tomorrow, Sam. We're never going to find her, are we? Now, now, now. Don't even think that, Dora. I just... I just wish to the Lord I hadn't fussed at her this morning. 
Hey, that's something, Sam. I hadn't fussed at her in a whole month of Sundays now, in this now, morning. Now, 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 Dora, Dora. Don't you worry. I sent a message to Charlie Gordon. Will he come? Well, of course. We rode together for a long time. He'll come. Now, don't you worry, honey. Dora, I want you to move over to the dildo where I'm going. No, there's no need. I want you to. Sam. Huh? You be careful. If anything happened to you. Now, don't you worry. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me. And I'll be bringing Becky back with me, too. the rest uh, I mean is this all of you I'm sorry Sam this here's all that showed up you know how it is mr. Paxton sure sure I, I understand Sam this is Ben Vogel scout from San Antonio mr. Paxton I hope to be of help I appreciate you coming Dora, when Charlie Gordon gets here, tell him to pick us up over at the rocks. All right. Hey, Tom. Good. That's Charlie Gordon. Yes, sir. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't let me down. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Good old Charlie. Charlie Gordon. There sure ain't nobody like that around these parts. Who are you? Ezekiel Smith, Deputy U.S. Marshal. Who'd you say? Ezekiel Smith, Deputy United States Marshal. And I'm looking for Sam Paxton. You're looking at him. I'm from Abilene. Well, where's Charlie Gordon? He ain't coming. He sent me instead. Nobody told you to get off that horse, mister. Now, let me get this straight. You say Charlie Gordon can't come and he sent you instead? That's right. All the way from Abilene. Never believed it. He's one of the best officers in the Confederate Army. Sending me a... I sure thought different of him. He also sent you this, Mr. Paxson. giving you this here letter is one Ezekiel Smith, the best damn tracker and lawman I ever met except in me. Pay no mind to his manner, I could never whip it out of him. I would have come myself in this here your hour of need, except that I'm ill in bed and find I cannot. Your friend Charles W. Gordon, United States Marshal. What's wrong with him? Gut wound? Shot bringing him Billy Williams. 
Nobody told you to get off your horse, mister. Well, I just thought. I don't care what you thought. Now you get off my property before I blow you the way you belong. I guess the marshal made a mistake, Mr. Paxton. He figured you just wanted to get your girl back. Mr. Smith. Dora. Ma'am. Wait a minute. Sam. Sam. Sam, I don't care what this man is. All I know is that Becky is out there somewhere, and Charlie Gordon sent this man to help find her. I want my baby back, Sam. I want Becky back. Let's start tracking, Mr. Smith. going to find nothing. We already know them army deserters did it. We're just wasting time. Doro wants it, Tom. It's useless, Sam. And you know it. Doro wants it. It's her right. It's mine. Where'd you find it? Up the hill, Mrs. Paxson. Now, I know this might sound like a kind of a strange question, but what makes you so sure it was troopers that went? Well, now, that's a right smart question, ain't it, boys? <laughs> because Sam's boy said it was troopers. Did they take anything, ma'am? Our Becky and your fiddly fool questions are keeping us from finding her. Mr. Smith, they took every one of our horses and all the food we had. Did they take anything from inside? I mean, like jewelry, money, guns, or maybe dresses even. No. No, no, they, they didn't take any money. I don't have any jewelry to speak of except my brooch. B but this music box was missing. Did you see anything, Mr. Paxton? A trooper. And my son bleeding to death. Mr. Paxton, it was Indians that stole your girl. Indians? On shod ponies? Ha! Comanches or Apaches? If they're Comanches, they'll be heading straight for the desert. If they're Apaches, they'll be heading straight for Mexico to trade them horses they stole from you and maybe a girl, too. There ain't been no Indians around here for more than two years. You ever heard of a white man stealing all that food and all them horses and leaving money behind and taking a lady's powder box that they couldn't even open? Don't make no difference who it was. We aim to catch him, that's all. Come on, boys.
it's too soon to rest. He's your man. What now? Well, I'm trying to figure out where those that took them horses of yours are going to meet up with those that took your daughter. Now, if I was an Indian, and you ain't far from it, here's what I head for. Rock Bluff? Why? Well, if I was an Indian, which I ain't, I'd rather be looking down on them that's coming than looking up. Now we know how they got them shod horses in that uniform you saw. It happened less than a week ago. How many do you figure there was? Seven, eight, no more than that. And they sure got plenty to trade for now. Well, with all that time passed, you reckon you can still track them from here? Maybe. Not from here, Mr. Paxson. From Rock Bluff, just where we're heading. We still got quite a ways to go to the border. All right. Rock Bluff. Sam? You're not going to let that little black Indian lead us, are you? There's only one man leading this posse, Naylor, and that's me. You see anything up there, Clem? Not a thing, Sam. Hey. <laughs> What's that? Something, Mr. Paxton. Could be tore from a dress. That's Becky's. Her mother made her that dress. They passed this way for sure. Yeah. And right through here. Sure is a lucky thing Vogel found that piece of cloth, ain't it? Yeah. Sure is. Ooh. Them tracks. I sure would like to know how far ahead they are. Who oh, boy. Oh. Mr. Paxton? What now? We're losing one or two of them Indians every mile or so. Are you sure? 
I think we better be finding out why. We're losing time sitting here talking. I figured they'll be waiting for us in there, somewhere. Well, there can't be more than a few of them. We can handle it easy. Well, no sense in taking chances. Vogel, go up and ride point. Wait a minute, Sam. What about the black? Why risk one of us? Let him do it. Won't be any loss if he caught one. Tom, get your man up there. All right, Ben. You think you're getting ready to rush us? They don't need to. We're boxed in. They can keep us here as long as they want now. Why would they want to do that? Well, maybe they're expecting some more to join them. Or well, they could be protecting them that's leaving. What do you mean by that? I'll let you know in a minute, Mr. Paxson. I'll take this. Boxed up in here forever. They ought to be miles away by now. Let's see if we can find the horses. 
Might have a better chance getting away in the dark. But well, Apache can see better in the dark than a mountain lion. What are we gonna do, just sit here? Nope. It don't seem right that a lawman sits and lets them killers get away. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't rightly know, Mr. Paxson. But I'll think of something. What do you think, Sam? I think they'll have a hell of a hard time seeing him. We can leave now, Mr. Paxson. What? What about the Indians? Well, but like I said, we can leave now. Where to? Sam, we can't follow them halfway across Mexico. Well, I can. Come on, boys. Let's get going. <laughs> Sam. Sam, you're asking too much. What? Sam. What more can we do? Clem and Vogel are dead. Not enough of us left to even have a chance. I'm going back. As I recollect, there's an army unit that's stationed a little bit west of here in a town called Tulka, right on the border. I happen to know the captain in charge. It might be a bit of a hard walk, but we can make it by noon. Tom? Pete? I'm sorry, Sam. Your night's work? Uh-huh. Howdy, Captain. Well, Marshal Smith, good to see you again. I see it. This here is Sam Paxton. He needs some help in bringing back his daughter. His daughter? She was took by Indians. We was pinned in a canyon east of here while they crossed the river into Mexico. We need your help. Bad. Sorry, Mr. Paxton. That's going to be difficult. Why? She's across the river. There's nothing we can do. What do you mean there's nothing you can... She's a white woman. What are you going to do, just sit around here while I get away? Mr. Paxton, I have no choice. If we cross the river into Mexico, for whatever reason, it could be considered an act of war. Well, you know what you can do with your act of war, mister. Thanks. I need a drink. So do I.
whiskey. For you. For both of us. We don't serve them in here. Hey, you see this? He's a U.S. Marshal. I don't care what he is, we don't serve them here. Now, you want a drink or not? I'm too old to change. the best looking piece of horse flesh you've ever seen, but it's your choice. Here, this ought to cover for losing your other horse. There you go. No thanks. Well, what's the matter? I owe it to you. No, you don't. What? I reckon I'm about all you got now, Mr. Paxton. Now, either you can go after him yourself, or I could go along with you. But I ain't got no obligation to go into Mexico. No, you ain't. And if I went in, I sure couldn't go in as a lawman. No, you couldn't. And I didn't take your money. So I ain't your slave. And I sure ain't your friend. Now, why don't you just tell me, what am I, huh? Nothing like I ever saw before. <laughs> well, whatever I am, you're going to have to ask me. Because Marshal Gordon's authority over me ends right here and now. You going to ask me? Over your dead body. What about your daughter's body? <laughs> One for you, Mr. Paxton. Where are you going? Well, not to the saloon. That's for sure. I see you in there. Are you asleep? Come on, you're not sleeping. Listen to me. I'm asking. You hear me? I'm asking. You black little Indian, come on, you hear me? You know something, you got a bad mouth, Mr. Paxton. Anybody ever tell you that? Never more than once. But you know what? I'm overlooking this time. As I realize that you're a mite upset. Upset, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Just as soon as this is over, I'm gonna beat the living sass out of you. I'll be looking forward to it.
They sure look peaceful enough. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go down there and get us something to eat. Now, if it wouldn't hurt you none, cover me, will you? Hey, Tracker. Yeah? It could be a trap. If any one of those bucks starts drifting away, watch yourself. Yeah, I'll do that. How can you eat with all these dead bodies around, huh? Sitting there staring at that Indian like some pale-faced goblin. What's the matter with you, huh? Today would have been my son's 17th birthday. Let him be. You know something? Charlie Gordon was right about you. You do have a peculiar way about you. But then you didn't have your boy killed. Or your girl stole. And Lord knows what else done to them by them savages. Yes, sir. What cause have you got to hate him? What do you know about it all? I'll tell you what I know, Mr. Paxton. White men raped and killed my mother, burned down our house. Shot my father. That was all cowboys, just funning. I know all about murder and killing. You just ask me, Mr. Paxton. You just ask me. If that's true, then why in God's green earth are you helping me? Because I owe a white man. Your friend. And mine, Charlie Gordon. He took me in. And he raised me. He made me his deputy. He taught me everything I know. That ain't cause enough for you to be doing this. You know that gut wound that Charlie Gordon took? So? It was meant for me. And if he hadn't stepped in and took it for me, he'd be standing here now instead of me. So I'm taking his place, Mr. Paxton, just like he took mine. And for no other reason.
Well, what now? Do you have any idea what day it is today? No. It's Sunday. So? It's a day I pay my respects. Pay your respects? For them that believes it's the Lord's day. Oh, oh now hold it, hold it. Look, look, this is a fresh trail. Now all we gotta do is a, a couple of more hours of hard riding, we can catch them. Well, what we're about to do, we're gonna need all the help we can get. Come on, boy. Yeah. What? Oh, doggone it. Hey! You want your Becky back alive, don't you? Well, sure. Then ask him. Go ahead and pray. He won't bite you. Lord, uh, sir, wherever you are, uh, well, I ain't much and I never claim to be. I if I did wrong, I'm, I'm sorry for it. I always try to do the best I can, but, but somehow I always end up eating dirt. But not this time. You took my boy. Don't take Becky. If you do, it'll kill Dora. And I know she never did anything against you. I ain't gonna promise I'm gonna do right or change. But if you do this, give me back my little girl. I'll sure as hell. Excuse me, Lord. I'll sure try. It seems you have journeyed far. Let me offer you the hospitality of our Savior's mission. Well, thank you, Father. Oh, well, no, sorry now, but uh, we get pressing business. Is this pressing business in God's will? You can be sure of it. When you first rode in, I was curious. You resembled the men who served the evil one, the plague of my country, the man called El Grande. El Grande? Well, Charlie Gordon ran him all the way into Mexico. He comes out of the hills, not more than four or five hours from here. He has come often, mocking our savior, pillaging, driving away those who would find sanctuary here. Can you find this place of his? W will you lead us there? No one returns from hell. You will die, both of you. Father, will you take us there? Will you? Father? That is their town. No one else remains. Thank you, Father. The Lord be with you, my son, for surely we shall meet in heaven.
Let's go down for a closer look. Come on. You think your daughter's down there? But that guard ain't around that hut there looking after chickens. Look, if I can make it down to that hut, I can have a clear run across. You're loco. You wouldn't get two feet in there. Well, you got a better idea. No. I'm plumb out. Uh-huh. What did you say? Whiskey. I'd like to know where I can find El Grande. That's a mighty dangerous question to ask around this town. Well, I hear he's always looking for joiners. And I got in a little trouble across the river. And I need a base. Now, you listen to me, hear me good. I'm going to finish this drink. And I do. You be long gone. Hear me, boy? Oh, well, I hear you. Do you know where I can find El Grande? Hey, don't do that, mister. I'm a mite nervous. All I want to do is just find Mr. El Grande. Why? And to what do I owe this honor? You El Grande? It's a name ostentatiously bestowed upon me by the natives of this island. I myself prefer Barnes. Roger Barnes. You sure ain't what I thought you'd... Well, what I mean, Mr. Barnes, is that I heard... Yes, 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 yes. I, I know what you heard. Now may I ask you why you are honoring us with your presence? Well, I heard that you were always looking for extra hands. And if you are, that would please me real fine. I see. Yes, I see. And you think you qualify for membership in our little group? Yes, sir, Mr. El Grande. You see, I got me into some trouble with a lawman across the river. Really? Across the river? A lawman? How very interesting. Well, he's been following me for quite a ways, and I had to leave him in the bush a ways back over there. You dirty, no-account, mangy, little black Indian, I'm gonna knock your head off! Oh, gentlemen, you. gentlemen, please! We have poor violence here. Is this the lawman you left in the brush? What? What lawman? Yeah, lawman! Give me that pocket! You're getting a bad habit, son. See that? That proves it, don't it? He's a rotten federal marshal. Chased me out of Texas halfway into Mexico. Why, you mean... Make this look good. It's our only chance. I intend to. Oh, 
handle something, you can quit any time. Ain't none of your friends watching. Come on. Begin. On it. Lock up. Obviously, you are eminently acceptable to us. Well, I sure am glad to hear that, Mr. Grandy. I sure am. stuff all day, but it's beginning to make me a mighty dizzy. Come on, it's my turn to buy. No, thank you. No, sir. I think it's about time for me to give me a bit of air. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't bring the troops. Oh, you'll do. Did you see her? Yeah. So? She's all right. But well, they can really sell them girls by nightfall. So we better run and bust them out. Well, the sooner the better. All right. You go saddle up the horses and I'll go get your girl. Wait a minute, that's my job. It's only fair for me to tell you, Mr. Paxson, that there's three more in there with your Becky. I don't figure that we can just take your Becky out and leave the rest of them there. Three more, huh? Uh -huh. Then you better saddle up six horses. Go on. All right. He'll catch us in a hundred yards. And I guess I'll just have to keep him busy. We'll both keep him busy. 
Here, Becky. Now, look. You see that trail up there? I want you to head due north. About four or five hours' ride from here, there's a mission. We'll meet you there. But, Pa... Don't but, Pa. Come on, now. Keep going. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. Let's go. can only have five minutes. All right, Mr. Paxson, you'll get your five minutes. Hey! You mind if I join in? It'll be a pleasure. One. Up to you. Well, I, I gotta know. Does the flush be the straight or is it the other way around? Let's go. Come on, hurry up. Father, you better come with us. There's old hornet's nest coming behind us. No, oh, my son. I have never run from them before. Go with God. Father, you too. You go with God. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. You see anything? Not yet. And they'll be coming, all right. Yeah, but we're far enough ahead now, Mr. Paxson. I think we'll give them ladies a rest for a spell. And just as soon as we get out of this open country. Now, please keep watch, because they'll be coming in soon, all right? We'll all right. be right up ahead. You. Is he a friend? Yeah. yeah. He's a friend.
They're right behind me. How many? Everybody. Now, look, I can hold them off from here. Why don't you get going, huh? No, you don't. I'm staying. You get the girls to the border. Mr. Paxton, how much chance you think I got with a group of white women going through Texas? Now, will you get going, please? Ricky, two miles east of here, there's a road leads you into the town of Tulka. There's an army post there. You get there as fast as you can and send help. Hurry up now. Get going. Halfway to Tulka by now. I figured it'd be better if I came back. Give the girls more, more time. That's what you figured, huh? That's what I said, didn't I? Why don't you stop your yapping and get to shooting? What will be there about now? Let's see if we can get out of here. Paxton, those are the sweetest words I ever heard. side of the river now. Women?
I'll be heading out. Where to? Back to Abilene. Well, I... I want to... I want to thank you. There's no need. Oh, uh... When you get back, Say hello to Charlie Gordon for me, will you? Zeke? I'll do that, Sam. Come on, boy. <laughs> 